Hello friends, today we will be looking into the concept of tournament predictors. So first of all, what is a tournament predictor? The primary motivation for correlating branch predictors came from the observation that the standard 2-bit predictor using only local information failed on some important branches and that by adding global information, the performance could be improved. Tournament predictor takes this insight to the next level by using multiple predictors, usually one based on global information and one based on local information and combining them with the selector. So tournament predictor is also known as a hybrid predictor. It is a combination of correlated predictors and 2-bit predictors. So in a 2-bit predictor there is a disadvantage that is it uses uh, only local information and it fails on some branches that is local this branch was taken or not correlated predictors uses global information and hence provides improved performance so the basic idea behind tournament predictor is to combine simple bht predictor that is branch history triple predictor and correlated predictor that is local and global Simple BHT that is branch history table predicts history independent branches. Correlated predictor predicts only branches that need history. Chooser assigns branch to one predictor or the other. So now what is its accuracy? So tournament predictors can achieve better both better accuracy at medium sizes that is a size ranging from 8k to 32k bits and also make use of very large number of prediction bits effectively. So, since tournament predictor uses many predictors, it can make use of many prediction bits effectively. Now, existing tournament predictors use a 2-bit saturating counter per branch to choose among two different predictors based on which predictor that is local, global or even some mix was most effective in the recent predictions. As in a simple 2-bit predictor, the saturating counter requires two mispredictions before changing the identity of the preferred predictor. That is, if there is a transition from one state to another, that is from one predictor to other, there should be two mispredictions. Then only there will be a transition. This will be seen later in the state diagram. So what is the advantage of using a tournament predictor? The advantage of tournament predictor is its ability to select the right predictor for a particular branch which is particularly crucial for the integer benchmark. Now coming to local and global predictors. Local predictor. Local predictor tells us whether a particular branch was taken or not taken earlier and global predictor which tells us if other branches are taken or not taken earlier. And tournament predictor combines both the local and the global predictor with the selector. That is as I mentioned before and it has the ability to select the right prediction for the right branch. Now Coming to tournament predictors, local and global predictors. Tournament predictor uses 4K 2-bit counters indexed by the local branch addresses to choose from among a global predictor and a local predictor. That is, tournament predictor uses 4K 2-bit counters indexed by the local branch address. That is, it uses this to select a global predictor and a local predictor. The global predictor also has 4k entries and is indexed by the history of the last 12 branches that is which are the last 12 branches that had taken place before it uses this information in to select the uh, global predictor each entry in the global predictor is a standard 2-bit predictor that is the entry in the global predictor is a 2-bit predictor the local predictor consists of two level predictor. The top level is a local history table consisting of 1024 10-bit entries. Each 10-bit entry corresponds to the most recent 10 branch outcomes for that entry. That is whether a branch was taken for the uh, 10 or more times in a row the entry in the local history table will be all ones. That is if a particular branch was taken then for that particular entry the uh, number will be 1 and if it is not taken then it will be 0. 
if the branch is alternately taken and untaken the history entry consists of alternating zeros and ones this 10 bit history allows patterns of up to 10 branches to be discovered the selected entry from the local history table is used to index a table of 1k entries consisting of 3 bit saturating counters that is the counter which is used to select a local predictor or a global predictor which provides the local prediction. This combination which uses a total of 29k bits leads to high accuracy in the branch prediction. So now let's see the state diagram for tournament predictor. So here I have taken two predictors that is predictor 1 and predictor 2. And here you can use any number of predictors but for simplicity I have taken two predictors. Now coming to this particular stage that is use predict 1. Now whenever the value of predictor 1 and predictor 2 both are 0 0 that is both are wrong then in this case the predictor will be in the same state. That is, it will be in this particular state itself for the value 0, 0. And whenever the value for the predictor bit 1 is 1 and for predictor 2 is 0. That is, whenever the predictor bit 1 is correct and predictor 2 bit is wrong. And in such a case, the state will remain the same. That is since the value for the predictor 1 is correct and hence the predictor bit will remain same. Now consider a, a scenario where predictor 1 bit is true and predictor 2 bit is also true. And since predictor 1 bit is true in this case also the predictor uh, will remain in the same state that is use predict 1. Now Whenever the predictor bit 2 is correct and predictor 1 is wrong, that is a scenario when it is 0, 1, then in such a case there will be a transition from this particular predictor to this particular predictor, that is when it is 0, 1, that is whenever the predictor bit 2 is correct. Now, if the predictor bit value for predictor bit 1 is correct and predictor 2 is 0, then there will be a transition from this state to this state that is for 1 0. So to summarize first of all if the predictor bit value for 1 and predictor bit 2 value is 0 0 then in such case the value this uh, state will not change and it will remain in the same state and when the predictor bit value for predictor 1 and predictor 2 is 0 then in such case since the value for predictor bit 1 is true it will remain in the same state. Now when both are true that is predictor 1 and predictor 2 both are true then in such a case also it will remain in the same state. Only when the value for the predictor bit 2 is right and predictor 1 bit is wrong that is a combination 0 1 then it will transit to this state and from this state to this state there will be a transition whenever the predictor bit 1 is correct and predictor bit 2 is wrong. Now coming to this state. In this state, there will be a self loop if predictor bit 1 is wrong as well as predictor bit 2 is wrong. That is the case 0, 0. In this case, it will be in the same state. And whenever both the bits are correct, that is 1, 1, then also it will be in the same state. Now, Whenever there is a prediction that goes wrong, that is a misprediction, as I had said before, as in a simple 2 bread predictor, the saturating counter requires two mispredictions before changing the identity of the preferred predictor. Now, if the value of predictor bit 1 is wrong for more than once, that is if it is wrong twice, then there will be a transition from this state to this state. So, here is the transition that is for 0 1. So whenever the predictor bit 1 is wrong twice and predictor bit 2 is correct twice since there is a misprediction there will be a transition from use predict 1 to use predict 2. So this is the transition. Now whenever the value for the predictor bit 2 is uh, right and predictor bit 1 is wrong then in that case I mean uh, in that case this will be the 
transition now in case if the value for the predictor bit 1 is correct and predictor bit 2 is wrong then there will be a transition to this state let's see that later now coming to this particular state that is use predict 2 now the condition when predictor bit 0 is predictor bit 1 is 0 and predictor bit 2 is 0 then in such case there will be a transition on the same state and whenever the value for the prediction bit 1 is 0 and prediction bit 2 is 1 then there will be a transition on same state since the value for predictor bit 2 is true. Next, whenever both the prediction bits are correct, that is predictor 1 bit as well as predictor 2 bit is correct, then there will be a transition on the same state. Now, whenever the value for the predictor bit 1 is 1 and predictor bit 2 is 0, then there will be a transition from this state to this state. Now, whenever there is a Whenever the prediction bit 1 is wrong and prediction bit 2 is right, that is 0, 1, there will be a transition from this state to this state. Here the self loop will be whenever the predictor bit value for both the predictors is 0, 0 and both the predictor bits is 1, 1. Now, whenever the value for the prediction bit uh, 1 is right two times then there will be a transition from this state to this state that is whenever the value for the prediction bit 2 is wrong two times and prediction bit 1 wrong two times uh, right two times since there is a misprediction there will be a transition from this particular state to this particular state so this is the state transition diagram for tournament predictor to start off with, there are four states and there are transitions on each states. So this is a boundary between the predictor 1 and predictor 2. Now predict 1, use predict 1. Whenever the value for the predictor bit 1 is 0 and predictor bit 2 is 0, then there will be a transition on the same state. That it is, it will remain in the same state. And whenever the value for the predictor bit 1 is Correct and predictor bit 2 is wrong since the value for the predictor bit 1 is correct it will remain in the same state and when the value for both the predictor bit 1 and predictor bit 2 will be 1 that is true 1 1 then it will remain in the same state as the value for predictor bit 1 is correct. So now there will be a transition whenever the predictor bit 1 value is wrong and predictor bit 2 value is correct to this particular state and again if the value for the predictor bit 1 is wrong and predictor bit 2 is wrong and since there is a misprediction there will be a transition from predictor bit 1 predict state to this particular state and whenever here also it applies here also the same thing takes place so this is all about this tutorial thank you